Welcome back to All About the Smokies. In this video, we're here at the famous Dolly Parton's Stampede. You see this beautiful arena. We're sitting here. We're drinking out of boot mugs. I mean, can life get any better? Okay, so the Dolly Parton Stampede of uh, Formerly the Dixie Stampede, as many of you know it, does they ask you not to um, record. They, they say photos are fine, and I, I took some photos, and I'll be showing you some of those. Um, I also took a few video clips, small ones, hopefully. Hopefully that's fine. I've seen other people's videos record really long, uh, drawn-out clips, so hopefully it's okay. I, I, I took a few. Um, did go with Josh. Unfortunately, he um, we did not get to make this video together, so uh, this will just be my, my solo review. I, I do want to say I didn't, I've never seen the Stampede uh, prior to this. This was my very first time, and it was a Christmas show. So I'm basing this solely on the Christmas show. So from the moment that you walk up, you, you see the lights, and you hear the Christmas music playing, and it, there's an excitement in the air. Um, I love Christmas and, and just it, it was one of those experiences that um, just embodied Christmas spirit. It was so exciting. So you walk in the doors and, and every person that you encounter, every staff member along the way from the start to the finish, they were all so kind and accommodating. It was it was just an awesome experience. So we come through and they take your pictures as soon as you get in the door um, that you can purchase those pictures later they, they bring them up to your table where you're sitting and ask you if you want to purchase um, just that's an optional thing so then I don't know if this is different since this is my first time going they take you down through and you can get specialty drinks now if you don't want any drinks there's not there's no alcoholic beverages uh, it's a deli parton thing so uh, but if, if you're wanting a specialty drink, they do have those, and you can get them at, at the bar as you walk through before you go to your seat. Now, what we got are these special boot mugs. Why? I, I mean, why not? Is really, is really the question you should be asking yourself. Um, but we got, uh, I think they were called Buckboard Bash, Buckboard Punch, something like that. And it had like uh, uh, oh citrus, some sort of citrus pop, like a like a sprite mixed with a couple different things. It it was just good. It was a good fruity drink. But they have other things that you can put in those, um, like uh, frozen drinks as well. So um, those were just a few bucks extra. And then they allow you to go to your seat. And you get get you get situated and wait for the show to start. Now. I didn't know what to expect. I've seen a few videos, but until you're there, you don't have any idea just how awesome the, the program is. Um, from things coming down out of the ceiling, like entire platforms that the actors were dancing and singing on, um, to an angel that came out of the ceiling and a dove flies and lands on her hand, the performance was amazing. The MC, uh, I, I gather he's been doing this for a while. Um, that guy was amazing. He was personable. He was funny. He was, he was a cool guy. And, and then he also sang. So then they also had um, a funny guy that came in and, and kept adding comedy to it. So there were serious parts. There were funny parts. There were parts that you just, your jaw was dropped and it, you were caught up in the emotion of it. Um, there was competition. So normally it's north versus south in, in these uh, arenas. Um, and this time it was north pole versus south pole because it was a Christmas show. So you cheered on your team as part of the north pole and we won. So, you know, that's, that's uh, a given, I guess. But that part was really fun too. You stomp your feet and cheer for your... For your um, for your team so that that all the entire part of the show everything to do with the actual show itself was amazing so let's talk about the food now I love 
how they brought you the food. So you sit down at your, your spot there, you plop down and you're ready to watch the show. They bring you food um, kind of throughout the, the first half of the show. Uh, they brought a whole chicken. Okay, so they brought you a, a whole little rotisserie chicken. They brought uh, a piece of ham. They brought a piece of uh, potato. And normally, I, I've been told normally you just eat with your hands on uh, at these shows, but they actually did have silverware this time for for what whatever reason. But normally you just eat everything with your hands. But they had a sliced potato. Um, they had a dessert that was like a like an apple crumble of some kind. So uh, lots of different little things to go along with um, your main your main course. They had a biscuit uh, to go along with as well. There was a there was plenty of food. Um, my experience, maybe it was an off night. It wasn't great. It wasn't great. Um, the ham, I've never had a worse piece of ham in my life. Uh, it was dry and absolutely flavorless, not not one ounce of flavor. Um, the only thing I can tell you that I enjoyed was the chicken and the dessert. Um, the chicken was pretty flavorful and, and, and pretty juicy. And then the, um, the dessert, it, it was good. Everything else was, was mostly bland or or very maybe overcooked i can imagine that it's very difficult to prepare that much food on that large of a scale for for, for that many people um in a short period of time and to keep it all hot and fresh i, I, I imagine that's a difficult task so um but you'd think they've been doing it for years so they'd be pretty good at it uh, so I don't know what the deal was. I, I've read mixed reviews. I, I've seen people on Facebook talk up and TripAdvisor talk about exactly what I'm saying. The food was just okay. And then I've had other people say um, that they loved it. You can probably find coupons for a few bucks off. Um, maybe you get a special group on. I don't know what they do. Um, this was the first time I've even really tried to look at tickets. Um, they're going to run you around $60 for an adult and um, about 30 bucks for a child, and that's ages 3 through 9. If the food was a, a little bit better, I'd say that price would be dead on. And now, I'll tell you what, I did not walk away un uh, unhappy. I loved that show so much. For me, it compensated for the, the, the quality of the food. Uh, if it was just a little bit better, like then the value is, is spot on, it's perfect. So keep that in mind, it's it's pricey. So if you're taking a family of four, a couple of adults and a couple of children, um, you're you're paying quite a bit, quite a bit. So just just to keep that in mind, $60 per adult is, is, is a lot of money, especially when there's so much to do in the Great Smoky Mountains. If you have the money to spend, I would highly recommend it. Um, Food, food aside, I would highly recommend it. That show was awesome. And if you're looking for something that truly gets you in the Christmas spirit, or if you're already there and you want to just um, appreciate something of, of, of that magnitude, uh, I would highly recommend it. The show was was absolutely fantastic. So, and as I said, all the staff, start to finish, were, were great. Our waitress had. Um, they they come through so quickly and 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 give you food and clear out your old food and give you the new stuff and at the end they're responsible for cleaning up their entire section as well and it, it's just um it's quite an operation that they have uh, very very cool so that's that's my that's my thoughts on it um is this something i would do again absolutely um, especially around Christmas time. I'd like to try it when it's not Christmas. Maybe not even for the channel, but just to even even see it. Great for all ages, but a little pricey. That's that's my final verdict on this. And speaking of Christmas, if you're looking for a last-minute gift for 
a special someone in your life that loves the Great Smoky Mountains, head over to SmokyMountainThreads.com. We've got Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg t-shirts, hoodies. We even have children's sizes uh, for that uh, kid in your life that loves the Smokies just as much as you do. If you order now, you can receive it in time for Christmas. We have adult sizes as well as children's sizes. So a little bit of something for everyone. And when you purchase from our store, that of course helps fund our adventures. That'll do it for this video from the Great Smoky Mountains. We hope you have a great day. God bless.